What's up guys? Welcome to part three of your Tasker's Beginner's Guide. In this video, we're going to be talking about frequently asked questions that you guys have. I've been reading the comments area and I know some of you have had a little bit of problems, so we're going to go a little bit more in depth on that. But we're also going to be talking about macros, something new today, and we're going to touch a little bit about variables. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first profile that I want to talk about is something that you've guys been asking. And this just goes back to video one of the Tasker series. That is, if you're near a cell tower, you want Wi-Fi to turn on, otherwise it'll turn off. The problem with this is that sometimes you live in an area or you're near an area that has a lot of different cell towers. So it's constantly cycling through all these different cell towers and you eventually end up losing your Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to create a command. So this is what it normally looks like. Let me go back so that you guys can see that again. Um, when you're near a cell tower, turn Wi-Fi on, otherwise turn it off. But we don't want it to turn it off. What we want to do is, we're going to edit this one and we're going to delete this and we're going to go ahead and add a task, okay? This is sort of like a command and we're going to add the wait command, okay? In this case, we're going to, and you can set this however you want. I'm going to put mine or I usually set mine for five minutes or, you know, in this demo I'll do three minutes, okay? So what we're going to do is, we're going to have, we're telling Tasker before you execute the complete end task, or before you execute, which we're going to turn Wi-Fi off, we want you to wait three minutes, okay? So then what we're going to do is go back to how we initially set up this um, profile, which is net, and then Wi-Fi off, okay? So now, this is the way it should be. I should explain to you right now. When you're near a, any of these cell towers, turn Wi-Fi on, otherwise, wait three minutes before you turn Wi-Fi off. So that means that within those three minutes, it may potentially cycle through one of these cell towers again and sort of reset itself. Um, this will definitely help you guys stay connected. Um, in some cases, you may want to turn it up to five, 10 minutes. Um, so again, this is your first steps in learning commands. So it seems a lot of you are having issues with the screen lock. Uh, especially Samsung Galaxy S2 and Galaxy S3 owners, I've been reading a lot of you guys have been having issues. So there's a couple of things that I want you guys to take a look. Um, under your settings, you should have uh, security and look under administrators, device administrators. Make sure that Tasker has the check mark on for device administrator and also secure settings if you're going to be using secure settings. Um, this way um, you won't have any, you shouldn't have any issues. However, if you still continue to have problems, I'm going to give you an alternate way of creating your screen lock. I've disabled it for now just to show you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to leave this optional. Um, or I'm not going to name it, excuse me. So when I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and click net, Wi-Fi connected. I'm going to specify what SSID, which is virus, EXE for mine, uh, whatever yours is. And I'm going to create a new task. Again, I'm not going to name this. You guys should already know this, so this is not something new. I'm going to create a new action. And here is where you're going to do things a little different. We're going to select plugin. Um, in part two, we've talked about third-party plugins, one of them being secured settings, and I believe I even showed you an example of that. We're going to go ahead and click on edit, and we're going to choose the key guard, okay? And we're going to say when we're connected, we want key guard to be off. Now make sure you click on run in background, no notification. Uh, go ahead and click on, would you like to save your settings? Yes. This way, you sh it sh uh, Tasker, or excuse me, uh, Android's not going to kill it. Go ahead and enable that. Now we're going to create our end task. Oops, hold this down. Create an exit task. Go ahead and do a new task. Same thing. I'm just not going to name it. Click on the plus sign. Go into third party again, or third party plugin. Secure settings and then on. This way it turns it back on when we're uh, not Oh, when we're uh, not in our uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, so now, when we're connected to this specific Wi-Fi, turn key guard off. Okay, so I'm going ahead and hit play on that just to make sure it works. 
Yep, there it goes. So now you shouldn't have any problems. I usually prefer secure settings uh, it, because it requires root. It's a little bit more, uh, just a little better way. So as you can see, I'll go ahead and load up, uh, let's say Google Plus, turn it off, give it a few minutes, and uh, there it goes. No problems, I can continue browsing the web, go to Reader without having any issues at all. Hopefully this will help. Um, not only in the device admin, but using secure settings for those of you that are having issues with the lock. So here's another quick tip that I'd like to talk about is one that I didn't mention before. So for example, in this profile, the one we've been using is if you're connected to, or if you're near these cell towers, turn Wi-Fi on. There's also, and you'll notice this in certain profiles or um, actions, is invert. If you click on invert, it means if you're not connected to these cell towers. So that's just a little tip on, on that. Also, some of you have been asking or saying you know, that you hate that little tasker um, uh, notification. And you can disable that where it says run in foreground. So I've disabled mine. The problem if you disable this is that sometimes tasker might act a little finicky. So be cautious about that. In my case, I've noticed that I haven't had any issues of, with any of my profiles, so I don't run it in the foreground. Otherwise, if you do have problems, make sure that you do have that check marked so that, once again, Android does not kill Tasker um, and, and whatever profiles it's trying to run. Okay guys, so in this one we're going to talk about macros and we're going to kind of dive right into a little bit about variables. Um, in part two, I showed you guys how to use my GPS one, which is, if, you know, whatever apps you load, not whatever, the apps that you specify, um, for example, here are some of them, turn GPS on. Now, I know some of you don't have root because I was using secured settings. So some of you asked me, is there a way to do it without root? So we're going to do it using a macro. A macro is basically a set of instructions that Tasker is going to perform. Basically, we're going to start getting into the programming stuff, which is a lot of fun. So the first thing we want to do is skip the profile. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it GPS. We're going to specify whenever you load. In this case, I'm going to use the GPS app, which is, I think, called Navigation. Uh, let's find it here. Yes, Navigation. Okay. Whenever I load Navigation, okay, we need to do these. And this is called a macro. Okay, we're not going to call it anything right now. So the first thing we need to do is create an if statement. Okay, now in order to create an if statement, we need to go to task, similar to sort of what I did before when we did the wait. But now we're going to create an if. Okay, now if, and this is where the variable is, which is the GPS status. Okay, um, I know you're thinking like, what, what, wait, wait, go back, go back. Okay, every, every variable starts off with a percentage sign. Now, I know it's a little bit confusing right now, um, but here's a little cheat sheet. If you click on this tab, it'll bring up all the different types of variables that you have. Now, as you start using this more and more, you will eventually figure things out and know what they're called. So you don't have to essentially go into here. Um, so we need to find GPS. Uh, I think it's in here somewhere. Uh, GPS, GPS. Uh, sorry, guys. I know it should be alphabetical order, right? Oops. GPS status. There you go. So if you already knew the command, you would just type in percentage sign GPS. You don't need to, like I said, click on that little button. And this is a tilde. Now, later down the road, you're, when we start going into the intermediate stuff, we'll be talking about, for example, uh, less than, greater than, and all these different types of conditions, okay? So for example, I'll just give you a really quick one, not to confuse you guys, but you can set something like if the volume is under 50%, do this, okay? So right now, we're just gonna use the tilde, which is if GPS is off, Okay, and I'll explain a little bit more as we start finishing this uh, macro, but this is the first one. So we're doing the if. If GPS is off, okay, go into the settings dialog, remember click on that, and we need to click on location settings, okay? And I'm going to walk you guys through this, so if things start like, what the heck is location settings? Don't worry. And what we need to do is, 
use the the next sex part excuse me section is input click on d-pad and make sure you use the down and remember this is only for ice cream sandwich or um, jelly bean for those of you running a different uh, version of Android it's gonna be a little bit different which I'll talk to you about so don't don't leave yet P push the down button twice I know this is probably not making any sense to you but it will at the end I will thoroughly explain it d-pad again we're gonna use we're gonna press you guys are like what the hell is he doing and then we're gonna load the app okay so give me a second find navigation here I know you guys are a little confused right now some of you might be at least and that's okay this is uh, we're getting more into the intermediate stuff now okay now let's go ahead and hit plus or check mark we're gonna go run this navigation when I load navigation if GPS is turned off I want you to go to location settings okay which is this sorry location settings this is location settings I need you to go down twice which is one two and then press it to turn it on and then go back to the app that's basically what it's doing okay pretty cool right so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and hit check mark as you can see navigation is turned off let's go ahead and run navigation now watch I'm not touching anything I'm actually gonna set the phone down so you could see that it does it all automatically boom Go down twice, check mark, and go back to the app. How cool was that, right? So as you can see, as I, my uh, GPS is um, on. But why, let me explain now, like I said, why do we need that if statement? Let's go back to uh, the last one we did. The reason why you need that if statement is if GPS is already on, you don't need to run this command. That's why you need that if. Because right now, if I click on navigation, remember, my navigation is turned on because I haven't created one to turn it off. But right now, when I click on navigation, it's not going to do anything. Okay? Otherwise, it would, the thing would freak out and actually go down right here twice and then pr press a button. Okay? So you don't want to do that. Um, so I'll run it by once again for those of you that you know are still trying to grasp this. And again, it's nothing, not, nothing bad. It's just that a little, this is a little bit more complicated stuff. If GPS is turned off, I need you to go into location settings using the d-pad I know it sounds funny d-pad there's no physical controller um, go down twice press a button once and then load the navigation app okay so in theory it's basically doing what I just said go back to location services go down twice and check mark that now if you're using sorry for the glare there if you're using a different Android uh, version like 2.3 or 2.2 it may be a little bit different in location services so you might have to go down five times eight times this is something that you're gonna have to play with okay in theory with macros though just to give you guys an idea is you could really do anything you can actually load an app have it task or load an app and do specific um, uh, tasks or not tasks but you know settings or macro settings uh, for example if I wanted to this is more of the advanced stuff, just to get, give you guys a little hint. Um, you can have it load Chase, and you can even use a third-party plugin. So when you specify a command, so you could say, you know, transfer money from here, from this account to this account, and this will, you could program it so that this will load Chase, go do everything with the number pads, put in the amount, transfer it. I mean, this that's a really advanced stuff there. But that's just to give you an idea of how crazy tasker can get so anyhow that is the navigation um, using the if so that was a variable um, this is a macro and now you're getting more into the programming stuff so I hope you guys like the beginning of the intermediate stuff that we will be talking about once we go into the intermediate of tasker so there you have it guys tasker part 3 beginners guide is now over we're gonna be jumping into intermediate now in my next video series I will start with intermediate I think you guys get a better grasp on it um, let me know what you guys think I'm also thinking about putting out a video of just suggestions um, there's so many things you can do as I showed you today with macros some of the things that I want to do with macros is for example when I get home I want to buy that little nest thermostat 
So when I get home and it detects Wi-Fi, I can create a macro so that it turns on my air conditioner or something like that. Or, you know, maybe even thinking now in the future, people that have uh, heart problems or conditions, I know, you know, <laughs> uh, you never know, it might trigger something. So for example, if the person is having a heart attack, it gets, you know, Tasker can uh, contact one of their family members. So really, I think that with Tasker, and it, the possibilities are endless. So anyhow, we're going to jump into an inter intermediate next time you watch the series. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter. I've left those links below on Google+. And I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much. Adios.